Changing gears today a bit. Instead of the Centauri Carbon that's sitting here idle, we're going to talk about the Neptune 4 Max. This is the big daddy that's been here for a while, and I just rebooted it, cycled the power switch down there, because I have a USB drive here with the latest firmware on it, and we're going to attempt to update the firmware on the actual uh, printer itself and then I have a little TF card down here that once that's done we'll flip this over take these screws out put the little TF card in and then do the update on the little screen also now I've heard people say oh it sucks that the Centauri Carbon automatically connects to the internet and does firmware updates well kind of like that because this is a bit of a pain in the ass having to copy to the drive and put it in and restart and then do the screen separately i really am not a big fan of that at all let's see advanced settings here's our firmware version and that is a pretty old version because i haven't had this on in a while root directory yes they are Keep your fingers crossed with me here because I haven't done this process in probably a year. <laughs> and I just watched the video and read all the directions and I think I'm doing it right. But that's kind of the downside of using this manual process is you, know, you hope you get everything right. Firmware, up, firmware update completed restarting device, but it 